Hey everybody, welcome back. I want to go over today about our abilities, why they're important, and also how they function. This is primarily going to be focused towards some of you newer players, primarily newer players, because our abilities are a bit daunting, and I get it, right? Because even for me, they were a little bit confusing. So, if you don't know what our abilities are, when you, and every single weapon has two our abilities, and they're essentially special abilities that do things... Um, and add stats or add damage or do different things right depending on what the R ability is So just to give you a little basic breakdown We're gonna look at a web actually. Let's look at the most basic weapon in the game everybody's all-time favorite It's not even on this team. It might actually be here somewhere. There it is. We're gonna look at the buster sword classic, right? so Buster Sword's a weapon in this game you're going to get for free, no matter what at the very beginning. And if you look here, you have uh, two R abilities. You see you have Boost HP, and then you have Boost Attack, and right now Boost Attack has a lock on it. So the way this works is our abilities are, best way to put it, they are a, a stat that doesn't directly give you stats. But by having that, by having the weapon or having that R ability on a character that that stat or that ability basically goes into effect right and so depending on what level that our ability is at will will determine how strong that effect is how powerful it is okay so let's look at buster sword here and we'll look at boost hp so right now it's at 11 points right so what boost hp does you can see here at level one it gives you plus 25 hp you get f plus an additional uh five percent to, to your hp so just on any character you put this on as long as it's in the main hand at level one right see level one only requires one point so if you have this you're going to be at level one so most like for the most part you can just skip through level one you don't even have to look at it right there's pretty much almost no time you're going to look at level one very rare at level two you get plus 50 hp and 15 percent hp uh it requires five points and as you can see it just keeps going up and eventually once you hit level four it sits at 250 hp and then and then you can see the hp just continues to climb from here so the way this works is you see how on the right side here it says required points that's how many of the of the little points you'll see on the weapon uh how many you'll need total across everything equipped on that character to get that boost right so if we're to look at the this right here, Buster Sword gives me 11 points to boost HP, right? So you're thinking, okay, cool. Sephiroth should have 11 points to boost HP. So, so you come in here and you go, huh, huh. Sephiroth only has five points to boost HP. Well, what's the reason? Well, Dr. Time Rocker is going to tell you. So the reason how this works and why it does this is any weapon that is not in your main hand, this one right here, the one that's in the, the long boy, right, the tall boy, if it is not in that main hand, what happens is all our abilities here in this section, you only get half. And it and, and when I say half, it means less than half technically because, because it actually rounds down, unfortunately. So instead of it rounding up to six, on this one, it rounds down to five. So you're only going to get half of this, which means at most... You're only going to get level two, but it's okay right now because look, we're, this is only 11. It's the only HP I have, so I'm not going to get that extra boost. I'm not going to be able to reach 15, right? Now, this is going to apply to every single weapon in the entire game. So if we look at this weapon here, it's called Edged Wings. This one gives you boost magic attack, right? So boost magic attack at 14. Cool. At 14, I'm one point off, right? So 14, this one says at 15, I get plus 60 magic attack and an additional 15%. Cool. Did I hit that? Did I hit that magic attack? Awesome. Wait, wait. I'm at more than 15. I'm at 16. Well, why am I at 16? Well, let me show you. I have this weapon right here. It is called the flame flame projector. And this adds boost magic attack plus four. So again, remember I was saying it gives half. So it's instead of it giving us four, it's going to give us two. So if we just do the quick maths, so you have two. You add it, the 2 to the 14, and that puts it at 16. How many does Sephiroth have here? Look at that. He's at a total of 16. So you can see here, be, we were able to reach this, and it'll tell you the current level. If you come in here to the character, and you go down to where it says R abilities down here in the bottom, bottom left, you click that, it's going to show you the list of all the R abilities here. And so by doing this, you can see what level you're at and what kind of boost you're getting. It's kind of nice. This is actually really nice. I really like the screen. It's very helpful. It also will show you what the total you have of that boost. And then it also tells you what the percentage. If you see where it says zero here, what that means is, is you have a weapon that is equipped that doesn't have that ability unlocked yet. 
So if we look, for instance, at this edge wings here, see how it's got the lock on the boost ice potency? That's because in order to unlock this, you have to get that weapon to level 60. So I actually don't even have a level 60 weapon on this account yet because level 60 is where your weapons really start to get good. Because to give you an idea, if I get this thing just to, just to level 60, right? I'm going to get some boost ice potency. I don't even know what it starts off at 60. It's it's probably not even 9. I think it's less than that. It might be. I think it's 6 maybe. So it starts off at 6. But hey, in my main hand at 6... That gives me an additional 15% to ice damage. So I'm like thinking, okay, that seems kind of neat, right? Well, it's better than you think, especially when it comes to like elemental damage, because now all ice damage is increased by 15% and we can boost that even more, right? So you can boost it with gear. You can boost it with other weapons. Get that number up because look how high this can go. 120%. That is ridiculous. That is more than double damage. So if we look at this weapon here, 440%, right? So that's its normal damage. However, if we go ahead and we calculate an additional 15% on top of that, if we do that here, that comes to now it boosts, it moves up to 506%. So we just gained an extra 66% to our ice damage. So it's definitely, definitely very powerful thing to use here. And you'll, as, as you learn the game, you'll realize, hey, some of these are really good. Some of these weapons have great R abilities and you'll see some of them too. And you'll go, ooh, these ones don't have great R abilities, you know? Some of them just aren't good. And that's just, that's just the name of the game, right? And you'll have ones that boost your defense. You're going to have ones that boost things like healing right so like this one's great fairy tale is one of the best weapons in the game if not the best weapon or most useful it boosts my healing cool i need boost healing let's that, that's really good right other ones like this for for Aerith, generally speaking it's not good boost attack on Aerith, not that great right B boost limit break is probably the worst the worst offensive uh limit uh our ability in, in the entire game and you're gonna have others you know you got hp and defense there um, this one has attack and wind potency. So you're going to have some nice ones, some really cool things. So this is this is where the game gets really fun and probably one of my favorite things is knowing how our abilities work and utilizing them uh, will allow you to make really powerful teams and make these custom parties to really utilize those our abilities. And I'm going to show you what I mean here. So if we take a look at this team, you can see I'm at a power of 5, 52,483. Now the power number doesn't necessarily mean anything. But I want to kind of show you the difference between having, you know, setting up your teams automatically and how they just don't take our abilities that much into account. And you really start to lose a lot of stats. You don't, your characters won't be as strong. So it means you're, you're probably going to have less HP or you might have more HP than you need and you have, but you have no damage, right? And a lot of times the name of the game in this, in this game is damage. You want to do as much damage as you can and then survive. So look, I'll show you here. So right, so the power levels are almost nearly the same, but let's go take a look at our, our our abilities, right? Let's see how they let's see how they benefit us here. So we look at Sephiroth. He's got the same setup I had originally put on him over on that other team, but then over here we've got some interesting things, right? So his atta magic attack here is 752. Now if we go back to that other team, the other one we were looking at before, his magic attack here is 799. So we actually. Because of the setup that the game changed, we actually lost 50 magic attack because I didn't prioritize like this one right here. This is a big boost to my magic attack because it increases it, right? So we, we, we were able to just barely clip over this magic attack right here that we originally started at 14 so that we're missing out on that because the game doesn't take that into account automatically. So same thing here. Let's go look at Zack, right? Zack is primarily a physical attacker, so that's how I set him up over here. So he's looking at 762 physical attack. If we go back to that that other one that I automatically made, he's looking at 7, 722. So again, he's missing out on magic. He's missing out on physical attack. And we got some stuff here. These this real this setup isn't too bad for him. Uh, if we come over here to Aerith, though, Aerith's the magic user. They pretty much loaded up with her. Loaded her up with non-magic attack things this is this is physical attack we she doesn't need that right so it you kind of really want to focus and learn how to how to get this stuff set up once you once you start getting more weapons and start utilizing the our abilities you start getting all your weapons or a lot of weapons to level 60 so that way you can really start you know they'll start shining that's where you're really going to really start to um get through a lot of stuff so hopefully this helps you guys uh, understand the our abilities how they work and and you know start to use them and, and make parties on your own because that's I, for me personally that's where a lot of the fun in this game is but if you have any questions feel free to leave anything in the comments uh, or if you have anything to add to it do let me know anyways keep rocking i'll see you guys on the next one peace
Thank you for watching the video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to hit like and subscribe. You can catch me live every single day on Twitch and YouTube. So be sure to check the links down below in the description for my channels. And I will see you guys on the next video.